It's beer o'clock on Real Old Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Lee Kime and it's their Hell's Lager coming in at 4.9% ABV. Called Lee Kime Hell. It's a, a beer from the beerish area of Germany. It's in a half litre bottle, brown bottle, swing top cap with a nice, they got their logo there on the, on the bottle cap. Uh, Brew House Liekheim, uh, they're based in Alton Kun Alton in Germany. Germania, it says on the back of the bottle. So, without further ado, let's get this beer out into a glass and see what we get. Nice pop on the bottle opening. I do like these swing top caps. I like the bottle actually. You've got the lo logo there imprinted. Imprinted or embossed or when they made the glass bottle, they raised it. You've got the name on the back. The emblem on the front. Uh, let's get the beer out into a glass, see what we get. We have a, a good German style lager glass for this review. Whoa, look at that. Look at that. So, um, good levels of carbonation. Got a bit of a tornado going on in the bottom of that glass. It's straw coloured. Slightly hazy. Four to five finger white head. Looks really good. Now this beer was sent to us by our fantastic channel sponsors, beersofeurope.co.uk. Beersofeurope.co.uk, the largest online beer store in the UK with a fantastic range of beer from all over the world. If you've been working away, if you've been on holiday, you found that beer that you love, that beer that you think you can only find in, well, let's look at this one. Likheim, hell. You love it. You want to drink it in the UK. Well, the best place to find that beer in the UK would be beersofeurope.co.uk. There's a link in the description box of the video. Have a look at their website. Wonderful place. Wonderful people. Right. That head's had a bit of time to dissipate a little bit. I'll talk to you about the head in a minute. The importance of a head on a German kind of Czech lager. But we'll get into the beer first. Let's get the aroma. Smells really good. Light, crisp. Sweet, that sweet light kind of, if you were to eat some barley from a field, wet barley. You get that kind of sweetness from it. Or probably the smell, if you're walking through a barley field and you're walking through treading on barley, you get that kind of sweet smell of barley. Well, that's coming through in the beer. Hoppy as well, a little bit of lemon, a little bit of spice. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Just fantastic, just fantastic. What a beer, stone the crows, stone the crows, fantastic. Really incredibly drinkable, really refreshing. You start off with that sweet, light, wafer-like malt coming through. Incredibly refreshing beer, this. A little bit spicy, a little bit peppery on the back end. Hoppy, a little bit of lemon, a little bit of maybe touch of lime. 
Let's see if it's hazy. There's a little, slightly, slightly, slightly bit of haze in there. <clears throat> but what I really wanted to talk to you about, again, mentioned it early on, was the head. <coughs> now, when you've got a German beer or a Czech beer in a, in a glass like this, it's very important for the Germans, the Czechs, to have head like this because it, it protects the beer. They call it kind of like a double pour where, or they call it definitely a check pour where you're looking to get rid of a lot of that carbonation that's in the bottle. Because the carbonation in the bottle is to protect the beer from the elements whilst it's in the bottle. The moment it's poured out into your glass, all of that protection doesn't really need to be there overly. It's just going to make you do that. Lots of burping. And you don't necessarily want to stand here doing or drinking beer and, and burping a lot because it's going to fill you up and it's going to ruin the experience a little bit. <clears throat> so if you're quite aggressive with the pour, like I've been here, you're first of all protecting the beer with that head. No air can get to that beer. So the beer's going to last longer. Not that it lasts very long with me. Kind of, I drink a pint in 25 minutes. But it helps to release that carbonation so the beer is not completely flat. You can see it's not completely flat, but at the same time, it's not filling you up with carbonation. It's not filling your belly, filling your gut with like a balloon, if you like. That is really terrific beer. Um, I've mentioned it quite a lot, so I'll be very quick with this. Helles Lager is now one of my favourite beer styles of all time. If I see a Helles, if I find a Helles, if I see the word hell on a bottle of beer, it's going in my shopping basket. I just really like the fact that, even though I really like Pilsner now at the same time, a Helles Lager is like a scaled back Pilsner. It doesn't have that same amount of bitterness on the back end. It's more, it's more balanced, it's more in tune with that little bit of sweet malt you get. Little bit of sweet malt, little bit of spicy bitterness. It's all in tune. Whereas I would say a Pilsner, it's got much more of a striking bitterness on the back end, which also, again, love that. Love that. But Helles Lager for me is right up there with Weiss beer for me now. German beer is kind of, I'm absolutely loving it at the moment. Any English on the back of the bottle? Uh, no English whatsoever, but I can see this water, malt, hops. And yeah, water, malt and hops, and then we got it in Italian. So they sell this in Italy and Germany. 4.9% ABV, the type of beer that I would always like to have in my fridge it's just a terrific, drinkable, refreshing, lovely, lovely beer. I'm going to rate it. It's got lovely lacing, nice carbonation, lovely look to it, great aroma. Lovely, spicy aroma now as I'm washing it around in the glass. Lemony as well. And a fantastic taste. absolutely fantastic for me that's a nine out of ten so nine out of ten from real craft beer please put your comments in the comments box subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews give us a big fat thumbs up boom cheers